Let's see. I'm going here. Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Evan here, the paramedic coach. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to start an IV. Let's dive into it. pinch okay quick quick IV and give some fluids all right thing is the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our tourniquet okay I'm gonna grab this one it's a little longer okay so here's our tourniquet here's our tourniquet okay I'm gonna pretend this is the patient's arm this chair and we're actually gonna do the IV right on the chair here okay make a little puncture so here is the tourniquet so what we're gonna do is first off we're not we could sit over the patient like this it's okay we want to get to their level for this demonstration I I'm using what I can here, okay? So we have here our, our tourniquet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the patient's arm, and then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna be, our right hand is on the right side of the tourniquet, our left hand is on, is on the left side. Guys, replay this over and over until you get it right, okay? And I want you to take a tourniquet, bring it home, okay? Ask if you can, they're gonna say yes. And then I want you to practice this until you can do it like I can. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cross your hands. Cross your hands, okay? So our left hand now has the right side of the tourniquet and our right hand now has the left side of the tourniquet. Under, and the, the tourniquet is underneath the patient's arm, okay? We're gonna pull tight with our left hand. We're then gonna take our left index finger, okay? We're gonna put both sides together. And then we are going to put the left index finger right underneath both sides of the tourniquet. And then we're going to take our right hand and we're going to roll it over the top of our finger and underneath the left side of the tourniquet and drop it. And we're out of there. That's in super slow-mo. Your sweeps underneath. Okay, here we go again. I'm gonna bring this up. Maybe you can see a little better. Here we go. Underneath. Here we go. Pull tight. Pull tight. Left finger right underneath both. Throw it over. Tuck that baby in. Okay. I'm gonna do it fast. Ready? Here we go. So we're gonna do a quick IV, Fred. Okay. Just gonna put a quick tourniquet on your arm. Okay. Real quick. Gonna feel a little poke, all right, man? That's it. Let's do it again. All right, Fred, we're gonna do a quick IV, all right? It's gotta do a quick tourniquet on your arm here, all right? Then we're gonna look for a vein on you. All right, so here we go. All right. Now, that is going to show the veins, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do here, we put our tourniquet on. Here we go. Tourniquet's on. Okay, now we have to look for the patient's veins. And by the way, the patient's arm is gonna go down like this. I have this up so you can see better, okay? So it's not gonna be up. The patient arm is gonna be down. I'm just showing you here so you can see a good view. Now the next thing we gotta do, guys, is find the vein. So you can see on me, even without, look, I'm gonna lower my arm and pump. You can see the veins right here. So we got a nice vein here. Nice vein here. Get a vein here. And we're looking for like a straight vein. This vein would be a gem. This one would be a gem. I have some down here, but we want to look really in here. I have some, I have a vein, big, nice, big vein here. See, see I'm lowering and pumping. I don't even have a tourniquet on. All I'm doing is lowering and pumping. If I had a tourniquet on, these would be really popped out. So right here is a great one, okay? You can't really miss an IV on me. So now we're gonna grab our alcohol prep and we're going to wipe the surface in a circular motion or away from the site. All right, guys, let's talk about other things now that we're gonna need at this point. We've tourniqueted the patient, we've alcohol prepped the site, so the site's ready to go. So first thing I gotta do is I need to get my tape set up. So 
you want to be prepared before you do this. I'm just showing you the steps. But I just want you to have a partner or if you're doing it yourself, set up some tape. So what I'm going to do is set up one big piece. Then what I'm going to do is take another piece. I'm going to show you a quick tip. Okay, I call, I call it the X. And I'm going to take this and split it like that. Okay? And I'm going to hang that. What I used to do is hang it right in the IV pole. So the IV pole right above and hang it up there. Then what we're going to do now, make sure we set up our lock. So I'm doing this all in real time for you guys, okay? So I'm gonna set up my lock. Now this is, a, now setting up the lock, doing the tape and all that stuff. This should not be done while someone's got a tourniquet on their arm. This should be done before the tourniquet. I'm just showing you the steps here, okay? All right, so here we are. We got a lock set up, okay? Now I'm gonna give you a pearl. The alcohol prep that you used, okay? You want, you're doing more with keeping that out in case Something drops, something happens, to have the alcohol prep. Now, I'm gonna pre I want you to pretend this alcohol prep is a two by two. A two by two, I don't have one, I wouldn't use one. It's two by two, I'm gonna give you a quick tip, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna use my, uh, I'm gonna use an 18 gauge catheter, okay? The site is prepped, we're ready to go. We have our tape set, we have our lock set. There's one more thing we're gonna set up here, which is gonna be called a tegator. Not everyone has these, EMS sadly. But what this is basically is a covering that's going to go over the actual IV site. And we set it up like that so it's ready to go. Okay? That goes with our tape. So now I'm going to take my IV catheter and I'm going to take it off. Okay? So here it is. Okay? So I can move this up and down. Up and down. Okay? So this piece of plastic right here, see the needle is going to actually eventually going to come out and go with us. This little plastic right here, that white plastic, that's going to actually be in the patient. All like this, okay? Just so you can kind of see. You go in here, okay? This is what the rookie's mistake. You go in like this, like you're diving for gold. You want to be kind of like, not straight, just like a little shallow. So you want to kind of like, like kind of a scoop, like a scoop, like a scoop. So it's like a little in and scoop in. A little in, scoop, like, like a diver. We don't want to be like a dive point. We want to be like, like this, almost even. You want to get flash and then out. The arm will move around in older people. So you want to bring the arm towards you, the skin towards you, or you want to hold down like this. Okay, this is a great one too, the thumb like this, holding it down. Now I want to do this angle. You want to come in a little shallow like this, okay? So watch, not like this, it's gonna be like this. Watch, here we go. Little pinch, okay? Here we go, we're in. Now let's say blood would come in here. Now I'm going to go forward with that. Okay, now I'm gonna hold right here. And I'm going to pinch off right here. Okay, so now this is where the two by two comes in. Okay, we're gonna pretend it's the two by two gauze, okay? Before you do anything else, you're going to slip this baby because we're an EMS and we're in a bumpy ambulance. You're going to slip that baby underneath, okay, and hold it right there, okay? Now, right now, it's not moving anywhere. You don't you never let go of it, okay? I'm just really showing you. So right here, here we are, okay? So now what I'm going to do is let go of the tourniquet. Why am I letting go of the tourniquet? The reason I'm letting go of the tourniquet is because simple reason, the tourniquet is going to flush blood out faster. I don't need a tourniquet anymore, it's over now. The IV's in. So now what's gonna happen is I have my two by two underneath, I'm gonna have my lock now, I'm gonna hold right here with my fingers, and now what I'm gonna do is get my lock ready. So I'm gonna use my other hand to get my lock set up, get rid of that, and now what I'm gonna do is grab this right here, okay? And I'm gonna one, two, three, I'm gonna switch off the, the needle, sharps away. Let's say a sharpen was here. I'm going to just put it in there instead of sharp spin. And now I'm going to go right here and connect my IV tubing. I'm going to go push in and then I'm going to push in. Just like with the, uh, the lock. I'm going to push in and then I'm going to twist. So I'm going to hold that. I'm going to slip out this. This may or may not have a little blood on it. Okay, totally cool. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold when you're holding um, and you're doing this maneuver, 
you're gonna hold like this with the IV tubing, then you can use another finger above to hold, or you can hold here and then press down with your other finger. That helps the blood not flow out. So here I am. I like using, and I'm gonna just pretend this for the real line, I'm gonna put some, put some fluid in here, okay? And I'm gonna take this whole piece and go right over the top of that baby and put it on. Okay, I'm gonna rip it off. Okay, now at this point, the IV should not go anywhere. Now here's what I do. When I have time, and I'm doing this in a patient who's more stable, I'm gonna do something that I call the X maneuver, okay? Some people, some people call it a chevron, I call it the X. Underneath, I'm gonna go underneath the catheter and we're gonna make an X motion. So I'm gonna go X over the top, X over the top with the sticky side sticking down. The, the lock right underneath the catheter and I'm gonna go up and over, up and over. Okay? So what this is doing is it's putting force on it to stay in place. Now, I'm gonna take my big piece, my final piece here, which is the big piece, and this is gonna make the, the lock stable. So now I'm gonna take my white place in the middle, this little open and close valve, I'm gonna put it right here, back here, so nice and neat. I'm now gonna have my IV here, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this big piece, put it right over the, the, the middle of the catheter, and right over the lock and put it right there. So here it is. I'm doing it, I'm gonna do it perfect for you guys, okay? Here we go, that's perfect. Guys, if you really enjoyed this video and you're looking for even more in-depth videos, if you're looking to become a sharp student, if you're looking to become an EMS provider that your instructors, that your preceptors, and that the other classmates, they're proud of you. They think that you are sharp at your job and you're proud of the EMT or paramedic provider that you've become during school. Guys, that's why in the description down below, I made the paramedic coach course. We're adding some new things. I have a private student Facebook group. You can ask me whatever questions you want during school and I will get back to you with basically near immediate responses, as well as the 100 plus video library, all the way from EMT level BLS to ALS stuff, prescription meds, EMS meds. This is the ultimate prep course and in-class online course to make you pass school on easy mode. So if you wanna pass school on easy mode and stop reading textbooks and watch videos like this, click down below, it's only $49. Guys, I'll see you next time, cheers.